Hello, my name is Katherine Holt and uh, welcome to my studio. Today I'd like to share with you four recent paintings of mine that um, are included in a group show at Desta Gallery. These paintings are part of a series I call The Long View. They are part of a, a larger series that I've been working on over the last two to three years. Um, and I like to describe them as uh, memory meditation paintings. The paintings generally have had to do with my memories of places I have lived and places I have traveled to. Specifically, a lot of these paintings have to do with our California coastline. I'll talk a little bit about my process. I like to start with drawing and uh, literally sketching gesturally onto the panels, uh, adding in acrylic based mediums, building up surface. Some of these paintings have sand in them, other materials. I work with pastels and pencils to just sketch out uh, these ideas of memory that I have inside of me just to get them out onto the panel. Uh, when I feel happy with that and I feel that's done, um, I go to uh, the oil colors that I use, Galcad oils, uh, and I just begin to paint over with color fields and sand and paint back into that and then sand back into that. I'm very interested in the development of opaqueness to translucency. I mix colors to express the emotions I feel in the colors I see. This one is called North to South. This is the most graphic, I believe, of these four paintings. The taping for me represents the horizon lines of what I saw having grown up on the beach and the very graphic view of sky to sea to land. The painting behind me is called um, Uncharted. This is the most recent of this group of paintings. I think I experienced more of the drop from sky to earth in these square format paintings. This painting also includes some metallic paints, which I've been experimenting with, which refers back to metals in the earth. The, the bottom of the painting is more tumultuous. It has, it's more open-ended. The use of color is loose. It's morphed in and out of each other, and that rises up into a simpler, more tranquil upper register at the top of the painting. When I'm working, I enter into a dialogue with these pieces, and in fact, the only way I know these paintings are done is when the conversation is over. The painting to the right of that is called Night Falls. It's a much moodier painting in terms of its color choice. I feel that the maroons are, for me, not necessarily a darker palette, but a moodier palette. And that's what I was hoping for in this painting. It does have to do with the, the fall of night and the calm that that can hopefully bring. This is a very peaceful painting for me, actually. The painting to the right of that is called Mist, and that is quite specifically referential to the Tamales Bay area and skies with sunset, sunrise, the rising of the mist, falling of the mist over distant landscapes of the mountains beyond. Again, a little moodier, um, having to do with our Northern California climates, how the fog moves in, how it affects the color palette in the sky, how that shifts so quickly, so frequently with air and turns from light to dark and back again. I've had a lot of time to be in my studio uh, with myself alone with these paintings. It's been a great benefit to me, um, both in terms of my dialogue with the pieces, as well as um, helping me arrive at a deeper understanding of why I do this work. Um, I am so happy to be able to share all of this with you. My only regret is that we can't all be in the room together to have a conversation about some of these ideas, um, but hopefully soon in the future we will be able to. Thank you again, Amabet, and stay well, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>